And welcome back everybody, I'm Dino Starboy and we're on floor 13. Oh good god! Okay, it's not on there. I'm not going to go to any unnecessary lengths. That was full of three of six ball boards. I'm not going to go to unnecessary lengths. Shoe polish. Alien billboard. Oh my, I'm on the final floor. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So here's the final boss. I thought... Oh dear. I'm on the final boss. Okay. You wanna know something? You wanna actually know something? Olimar gets the L's. He started the journey, he's gonna end the journey. So yeah, we're gonna wanna have to we're we're gonna wanna do that and then go here. Louis Is that Louis? Say hello to the final boss of Pikmin 2, the Titan Dweevil. Now, he has one insta kill move, and it's the electric, and it's this called the Shock Therapist. Otherwise, he's pretty tame. What the hell was your deal, Peckman? Okay. Oh wow. Uh, so... The Shock Therapist is already glitching, I think. Oh yeah, and the Shock Therapist is the only weapon after you get the Dream Material that affects you with electricity. There's the comedy bomb, uh, which I would say is second most deadly. Let's get one of these things off. Alright, sweet. There, we've already got the first thing off in just two minutes. Alright, uh, let's get the comedy bomb off next. Actually, now that we've got rid of the shock therapist, we should be able to bring our other Pikmin types in. Okay. 
Oh, here's here comes the Hydro Cannon. Oh, by the way, I forget the name for the fire weapon. Still like. I think that was the first time you used the Hydro Cannon as well. Oh no. Whoo! Oh, he got he got one yellow there. Oh jeez, that's a one after the other. Okay, all you gotta do is kind of stay away from the Titan do evil when he uses that. Let's take that. Let's take the hydro cannon down. We're close. We're just. Get that. Okay. Oh dear, oh dear.
This might have to be split into two parts. One for the crit. Oh, is it glitching? It can reach up here. Yeah, the comedy bomb is sure enough glitching. I can't. I can't get a good enough shot at it because the enemy, because the, oh no! Good God, Titan Weevil! Come off! Oh yeah, this is the only instance of poison hurting you as well. Yes! That is the first... Okay, we only have one more of these to get, and then we're pretty... we pretty much have this guy down. Oh my lord! I forget what it does when it, like, when it, uh, starts glitching. We should find out right now. Oh! I think he just does. I think he gets a longer reach and he does a bigger spread. I think that's literally the only thing he does that's different. And here is the true form of the Titan Dweevil. Really, he's just a peaceful guy. And we're technically just dickheads. He is a very easy enemy to kill. I mean, before this, he's pretty fucking difficult. But you can, if you're new, but you can literally cheat the game by just using yellows. There we go. And this is what happens if you beat him. Um, uh, when you use a potion on him, a purple potion, he'll drop a pile of other potions. But if you kill him normally, he'll dissolve into like a blue goo, I think it looks like. But yeah. We have... Basically just beat Pikmin 2. 100% as well. well. Not 100%, because we still gotta do challenge mode. I'm not even gonna do the trick, cause I'll get I'll get like a decent amount of purple potions. Let's start carrying these back.
Um, why don't we do them in order of, uh, when I knock them off? Starting with the shock fire fest. Followed by, I believe, the Hydro Cannon. Zip, zip. Shock Fairfest. Oh, I remember what this is called. It's called the Flare Cannon. I think it's called the Hydro Pump. Oh no, the Monster Pump. Okay, and let's get that. Comedy Bomb. Nope. And finally, Louis. Oh yeah, Louis is a treasure in this game. Flare cannon. Okay, let's go to the exit. And Louis is the king of bugs we basically cover half the debt from this dungeon you cover half of it from the dungeon we lost 20 Pikmin overall. Now we're back to the Wistful Wild. You collected every treasure! It's kind of be gonna be like a kind of extra long end, extra long episode just for you guys. He sounds like Mario. <laughs> Olimar opens his eyes for the first time in the game. Well, actually, more like the second time because the, he opened up when we lost Louis at the halfway mark. I like the way he sees that from the planet. So, yeah. Now this makes it look like the onions go to different planets to me. Or may do they just stay above the atmosphere like normal? Now that just shows that there was going to be a Pikmin free. Uh, see what you did there, Nintendo. I think they could have looked, made the entire thing just flowers instead of ha having numbers on the flowers. The end of Pikmin 2. God, imagine if they did the the exact same ending as they did in Pikmin 1. Imagine doing every single fucking enemy. That'd just be annoying. I'm pressing plus and A, but it does it just You can hear it, can't you? I'm pressing A really, really fucking fast. Oh There we go. Of course it Took us fifteen days, lost ninety seventy nine Pikmin. Lost sixty of them to battle, lost none of them in 
net left none behind, lost free to water, lost none to fire, lost none to electricity, lost 16 to explosion, lost none to poison. 839 were born, 155 of them were reds, 201 were blue, yellows, 338 were blues, 35 were whites, 110 were purples, and I only spent 11 hours and 30 minutes on this entire game. But, it's not over. Cause, see, meet me next time guys, when I do all of challenge mode. Yay! See you next time. Bye guys.